What I look at in every stock I'm trading is the ATR, which is the average true range of a stock. And what that calculates is the last 14 minute, the last 14 five minute candles. And it gives you a range of what each of the five minute candlesticks are, is and will be. And you really have to use that when you're talking about your stop orders. Okay. So, you know, a stock like Meta probably is going to have an ATR around $5. So, you know, if I'm a hundred share trader and I want to trade Meta, right? I'm not going to risk $500 on a trade. So I'll cut my size. I'll do 50 shares and I'll risk $250 on a trade instead of doing a hundred shares and risking $5 on a trade. If it's a lower ATR, you know, if we're trading the, the spiders, right? The spider ATR is usually 25 or 30 cents. That's just, that's just what it is usually, right? And if you look down here this morning, you know, you know, I love my relative strength, right? And we got close yes. to a, we got close to a 20 RSI when we were all the way down here in the SPY. So to give you an example in this and spiders, if you make 50 cents or a dollar, you're making a really good trade in this. And you can have a little more size in this because you're not going to be risking a lot. When I'm trading the SPY, 50 cents is a big stop for me. And usually if yeah. you're wrong by 50 cents, you're going to be wrong by more than that, right? So, I mean, we made a low down here of 497.50. All right, so I'm only looking to take out of this trade my two resistance levels. And I don't care what happens after that if it keeps going higher. So it was 497.50. So here, we got a dollar on it, which is a really nice trade in the spiders. And we took it to the next resistance level, which is $1.50. So if you're making, you know, between 50 cents and $1.50 on an SPY trade, and you can be a little more aggressive because you're not risking a lot on it. So, you know, this, you do two or 300 shares. If I do 200 shares here, I'm risking a hundred bucks and I'm taking almost $400 out of the trade. And that's the kind of risk reward we want to have on every single trade that we do. And of course, when, if I got in at my 20 RSI and it went 50 cents against me, I get out of the trade.